Hello, my name is Tom Cathcart. I'm a professor in biological engineering at Mississippi State University, and I'm going to give you our take on how this initiative to remove the impact of storm drains along the Mississippi Gulf Coast could can be undertaken. Um, that's me right there, and I've been around for a while. This is my friend Pete Melby, landscape architect. We've been working together on beach projects for a number of years. Uh, we're, we've teamed up with Pickering Engineering and our colleague Jeff Bullweber. We've worked on many projects. Most of them have had to do with, uh, with protecting the beach, restoring the beach, preventing erosion, which has been an ongoing relentless problem on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And we, we undertake this by using basic bioengineering, which is using natural processes and native plants to do what it is we are attempting to do. Uh, we've been recognized by the uh, Gulf of Mexico program with the Gulf Guardian Award. We've worked with the Bluxy Bay Chamber of Commerce, Harrison County Sand Beach Commission, Mississippi Alabama Sea Grant Consortium, Mississippi Department of Marine Sources, and pretty much anybody else uh, who is possible to work with there, I think. We've also worked, as I said, on Deer Island, where we've done some reforestation. And we've been concerned with water quality throughout this process because you can't really separate issues of erosion and restoration from the quality of the environment in which it's un being undertaken. The problem of the storm drains is serious. Not only are the drains ugly, what goes through the drains is bad for the Mississippi Sound. We're getting nutrients, we're getting uh, which, which contribute to eutrophication, we're getting organic material, we're getting a considerable bacteria load, we're getting chemicals, we're getting even heavy metals. There are many things entering the sound that are being washed off of the roadways and the parking lots and the grassed areas, yards, uh, and down through the pipes and almost immediately into the sound. The problem is there's so much water that has to be managed that it's very difficult to manage that water in any other way. So what can we do? Well, we propose the basic bioengineering approach, which is to use natural systems and native plants to do what we need to do. And in this case, what we need them to do is to treat the water. Salt marshes treat dirty water. Salt marshes create sustainable habitats that will, that will promote nutrient transformations, chemical transformations that stabilize the chemicals that are within. In some cases, uh, the materials are sequestered and held in the marshes. In some cases, they're converted to forms that are less harmful. It's the bake basic and it's the method that will give us, it's a basic method and the method that will give us the most bang for the buck if we're trying to improve water quality. And the first thing we should be doing is trying to make the biggest impact we can at the most reasonable cost that we can. The low hanging fruit in this case is what we can do with salt marshes. And we have learned over the past 20 years how to create salt marshes. We've, we've created them on the north side of Deer Island. Here they are at the beginning. Here they are half a year later doing very well. We did this at Schooner Pier, creating salt marshes that once they are created, the protective roles that you see right here can be obviated. They can be discarded and the marshes will continue. We did this at our three acre experimental site in Biloxi. Here we see the roles in place. Here we see the marshes after the rolls are gone, and these marshes will stand up to pretty much anything. The way this works is that we temporarily use rolled up con uh, erosion control mats to dissipate wave energy. It's a temporary thing, but what we see happening is we see the growing of the marsh once it becomes established further and further into the sound, encroaching on the end of the pipes. What are we going to do? We're going to mask the pipes. What's going to happen? We're going to have multiple benefits and we've even seen oysters established. 